Hello, I'm Seamus Dunahoo of Eve University, and this is my walkthrough for the Sisters of Eve Level 1 Epic Arc, The Bloodstained Stars, Part 5, Shifting Foundations. I've already accepted the mission from Sister Alatora to talk to Kaida Eslin, so I am docked in Heck 4 Crucial Tribe Bureau. I'm going to right-click Kaida Eslin, Security Division, Epic Arc Agent. Not to be confused with the event agent, that's something different. You want the Epic Arc agent, Kaida Eslin. Alright, and Sister Alatura disappears from the agents tab. An eye on everything, investigate the smuggling hub and report back to Kaida Eslin. So let's click accept, close, make sure I have everything in my cargo hold, yes. Uh, my ship is properly set up. By the way, it's been about half a day since I recorded the previous episode, so I have been training some skills in the meantime, and you can see those skills here if you want to pause the video and take a look at the list. I'm going to un undock. The mission is here in the Hex Solar System. I'm going to warp to the mission. By the way, uh, Heck is one of the six trade hubs that I mentioned in a previous episode. If you lose your ship and you happen to... S if you lose your ship in Heck and you need to buy a new one, the trade hub, as of the time of filming, is Heck 8 Moon 12 Boundless Creation Factory and has been for the past two years. It is February 2012, right now. That's a lot of ships. Looks like they're still getting reinforcements. They even have a stolen Nidogger. Alright, I have all the information I need. Good work, get back to me before they realize you're there and we can discuss what comes next. And very conveniently, there is a link to this station. Stolen Nidhogger. Let's look at that. Huh. Basically, this is what a carrier looks like. Really advanced players can actually fly a Nidhogger, but in any event... Let me reset my camera, and let's dock at the station. No shooting involved, you just need to move a little bit closer. By the way, in case you get confused, your mission base here is Heck 4 Crucial Tribe Bureau. Docking. The trade hub Request. is Heck 812 Boundless Creation Factory. Docking request accepted. Complete and request. All right, we need to talk to somebody in Lustrevik. Set destination, we will accept the mission. And close, and I will undock. And I will skip ahead a little bit. Warp drive active. Alright, I've skipped ahead to where I am about to dock up in Lustrevik 7-9, Brooder Tribe Academy. And you want to right-click Tarek Arand, Security Division, Epic Arc Agent.
and he wants you to destroy an auxiliary power array here in Lustrovic. So let's click accept and close and undock. Let's warp to the mission. Alright, the auxiliary power array should be a large collidable structure. In my particular case, I have a bracket turned on for that because the default key binding shortcut is Alt-Shift-X or Option-Shift-X for my fellow Mac users. Uh, that toggle turns on the brackets for large collidable structures, but also for moons and probably a couple of other things that I forget. All right. Most of the ships have left because they were distracted by something. In game terms, they were scripted to despawn, so you only have to deal with these four uh, enemies. And it's just the auxiliary power array you have to deal with. Uh, if you need to... I have my own. If you need to add this thing to your overview, it is a large collidable structure. Uh, you should be able to find it. Um, let's see. I think it's under Celestial, but I can't know. It might be under Entity. Yes. So, if you left-click the menu icon, open the overview settings, which closed it because I already had it open, Filters, Types, Entity, Large Collidable Structure. But for right now... I have problems to deal with. I am making very liberal use of double left clicking and space to adjust my direction. Oh, more enemies. You know what, let me just orbit this cruiser at 3,000 meters. By the way, this is a cruiser. The way you can tell the difference, the red cross, the, the red plus sign for it is bigger than the others. You know what? might make my life easier if I put out a drone to help me deal with some of these enemies. Alright, let me try orbiting the auxiliary power array.
It's not strictly necessary to destroy all of those enemies, but um, you may find it easier to destroy this auxiliary power array if you don't have any distractions to deal with. Alright, I'm not going to deal with uh, loot right now. I'm going to right-click empty space, go to the leader, agent home base, dock. Because I don't remember which of these stations it is. Ah, right. Lustrovic 7-9, Bruder Tribe Academy. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Complete mission. Request mission. Clear the facility of hostiles and capture any of the lieutenants present. Let's click accept. And let me just drop off the loot that I picked up from that cargo container. And undock. Mission. Warp drive active. Alright. There are the mercenaries. I'll start locking up the closest ones and move a little bit closer. Just pulsing the afterburner once and then full stop. Looks like they're coming towards me. These things don't have a lot of hit points, so I can afford to split my damage. Alright, pulling in the drone. We were scanning the radio chatter of those guys you took out. They were trying to evacuate someone for that habitation module. It's vulnerable now without them guarding it, so you can fire a few rounds off into the building. That should flush them out. Uh, the habitation module is, again, a large collidable structure. So if you can't find it by left-clicking in space, you can find it by adding large collidable structures to your overview. And given them using antimatter, let me move a little bit closer. Actually, you know what? I don't know if I want to destroy this thing outright, so I'm going to switch to my lowest damage.
Just one volley. Alright, alright. Stop shooting. I'll come with you. Right, apparently the pop-up messages were put up in reverse order. No way I'm coming with you. Uh, triggers at 10 kilometers out. And alright, alright, I'll come along. Triggers when you take down a bit of the shields. So, I triggered those in reverse order. Now, unlike most missions where you're trying to retrieve something, uh, you don't actually need the cargo in your cargo hold. The mission is marked as complete. So, you can right-click empty space, hunting the lieutenant's agent home base dock. We're done here. Warp drive active. So, to repeat, you do not actually need to bring anything on board your ship. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. All right. Let's start conversation and complete the mission. Now let's request the next mission. And we are to go back to Heck, so right click Heck for Cruise Ultra Bureau and set destination. Let's click Accept. Close, and I will haul my junk back with me to Heck. I've skipped ahead to where docking I am docking up in Heck 4 Cruise Soul Tribe Bureau. Right click Keta Eslin, Security Division, Epic Arc Agent, start conversation. And we need to assassinate Izia Tabar, so click accept, then close. And dump off the junk and undock. And let's work to the mission. Warp drive active. Right, I'm going to double left click and space away from the mercenaries I just dropped out of warp on. I forgot to switch to antimatter for this. Alright, now I can stop a bit.
There's Izzy at Taybar. I'm gonna approach dead on with an afterburner. Izzia Tabar is moving directly away from me, trying to open range. Which, of course, results in a seriously uh, low angular velocity. Alright, that's done. I'm going to dock up. Warp drive and turn active. off my afterburner. And reload my guns. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. All right. Start conversation. Complete. And request. Porting succession. Recover the crucial spy from Tabar's training compound. Let's click accept and close and undock. And this is, again, here in the Hex Solar System. And let's warp to the mission. Warp drive active. Closer to them. Alright, cut the afterburner and start shooting. Right, full stop here. Alright, they are shooting missiles. Guns care about two things. Distance to the target and angular velocity. So, moving around a shooter uh, can reduce the probability for guns to hit. Missiles, on the other hand, don't care about angular velocity. They care about two things. How big a target are you? And how fast are you moving? Doesn't matter what direction, just how fast. So the faster you're moving, the less damage you take from missiles. Alright, let me also check this mission. Alright, this doesn't actually have a cargo retrieval component, strangely enough. It's just a green check mark, so you don't actually need to bring anything on board. Um, abandon only by Rex. Save location so I can salvage in between filmings, and I will dock up. Warp drive active. Heck 4, Crucial Tribe Bureau. So despite what the objective says, there isn't actually a cargo component to this. 
If I actually needed to be sure that something was on board, the item would have appeared in the mission briefing. I should have mentioned that earlier when I accepted the mission. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Alright. Let's start conversation. Complete the mission and request the next mission. Alright, that concludes Chapter 5, Shifting Foundations. This mission is going to take us to the Tanu Solar System, Tanu 5 Moon 1 Amatar Consulate Bureau. So I'm going to end this episode here. When Episode 6 begins, I will already be docked in Tanu. In the meantime, thank you for watching.